guys. Rooster here in Tennessee, roostercb.com. A uh, quick little test here for a customer, Fatboy 10 pill 2879C. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test this thing to full power, but I know the customer wants to get the amp, so we just want to make sure it's not DOA. Uh, power supply we've got here is definitely not big enough to tote it and the uh, 2970 N2 that we have. I think this radio does about 375, 350 or so. Now, this being a 10 pill C box, obviously we can hit it with, you know, I would say 400 to 500 watts PEP pretty comfortably. And, you know, a couple hundred to probably two and a quarter, 250 average going into it. Uh, 16 pill cabinet here. The customer also got a two pill 2879C, which we will do a little bit better output test on it. But, um, Really just awaiting the, uh, my new bench power supply to come in. Timber Reaper's hooking me up with an 800 amp at 15 volts and just waiting for it to come in. I've got a 16 pill standard that I'm also going to test on it, but I just got the feeling that this customer would rather go ahead and just get his amp and didn't really care to wait for the, uh, the test video. So you ask yourself, well, why are you even doing a video if you can't properly show the power output of it? Really, the main thing is just to show the customer the amp is not DOA when it's leaving here and make sure he's not getting a dead on arrival amp. So, again, it's just kind of a function test. And, you know, if this thing shows decent power at all, we'll know that the amp is working properly. So, a uh, couple hundred or about 375 PEP going in, probably about 150, 170 average, give or take, maybe a little bit less than that, actually. And then, again, our poor power supply here. I mean, I'll just show you guys what we're working with. Oh, yo! I mean, we're the voltage is falling, you know, plumb out of sight, and you really want to run these C's at, at 15 minimum. So dropping down to 12 and some change, we're not doing this thing justice whatsoever. And we're feeding it, you know, we've only got like four gauge OFC coming to it. So uh, that being said, let's just do a quick test, make sure this thing's good to go before we get ready to box it up and ship it out tomorrow. And then we'll follow this video up with a test of the two pill 2879C and we'll probably drive it with our Connex or something. Okay guys, so let's just zoom in here. You guys know the circumstance, so don't be expecting big numbers here. Uh, average power first, we got a 5,000 watt slug, middle scale. Hello, audio. About 800 average. And this thing, trust me, will do way more with a proper power supply and proper voltage. Again, that's like 12 and a half volts. And then PEP, middle scale still. Radio one, two, radio one, two, radio one, two, radio one, two, audio one, two, audio. About 16, 1700 PEP. Like I said, take that with a grain of salt. Just know, yes, this amp will do way more than that. I believe one of these I tested in the past with this exact radio uh, when I had my big 600 amp power supply here, um, before I sold it, I think it was doing 2,500 average and, or 2,500 PEP before I misspeak, 2,500 PEP and like 1,200, 1,100 average. So 10 pill 2879C, super badass amp. Uh, I think he'll really like this one. I only order these. I don't even know if they make these in a smaller cabinet. I know this is the 12 pill and 16 pill cabinet, but uh, I won't get a 10 pill or anything smaller than this. I like the 16 pill cabinet, the four fans. Just really think this is like a really tough uh, bulletproof kind of amp here. So uh, appreciate it, everybody. Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. More videos to come. Fat boy, straight 10, 2879C. Just testing to make sure our customer doesn't get a... Uh, a DOA amp because you know what stuff happens sometimes uh, I'd be lying if I said that you know amps don't come in here not working it, it's part of it when you sell so many you get so many stuff comes loose you know stuff gets overlooked part of the game guys rooster in Tennessee roostercb.com see you bye